Hey, what's going on? How was your day? My day was great. What about you? Mine was terrible. Oh no, that's not good. What yeah. happened? Yeah, there was a huge traffic as usual, so I'm pr probably I should move to a different place. Yeah, I agree. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Oh, do you think so? This is the only real-time speech-to-speech model that you would probably need. You can run this model locally. The model comes with open weights and it also comes with commercially permissible license. This is excellent. It comes from a research lab called Qatai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. The model name is Moshi. This is a real-time speech-to-speech model. In this video, I'm going to show you three things. One, we're going to learn a bit about the model. We're going to learn how to run this locally on a MacBook. Three, we are going to experiment with this model. First of all, the release is called Moshi V0.1. As part of the release, they've also released the MLX weights, the candle, which is a Rust library and PyTorch. So whether you have got NVIDIA GPU, whether you've got Mac, you can do all these things using the model weights. They've also released all the different quantization. So it's easier for you to do it. So kudos to the team. This should be how the releases uh, are uh, so uh, it's it's quite excellent. Now, what is this model? This model comes from a, li a lab called Qtai Labs. It the model name is Moshi, a speech text foundation model for real time dialogue. So, in a nutshell, the model has got three components. The first component, Helium, is a seven billion parameter language model trained on two point one trillion tokens. It's almost like Llama three point one seven billion parameter model. Then you have got Mimi which is a neural in neural audio codec that models semantic and acoustic information. So when we speak, it gets that information and the new multi stream architecture that jointly models audio from the user and Moshi on separate channels. As you can see here, the user speaks into Mimi and the Mimi takes it, does something with the model and then gives you the output. I'm going to just run it first, show you the demo and then we're going to see how to set this up. So I've already got the model installed on my local computer. So I'm going to just literally run this. Once I run this, I'm running the quantization four. It is going to start running. So it is starting as you can see here. I've got the setup on my local computer. I'm going to connect it. So Moshi is an experimental conversational AI. We uh, take everything it says with a grain of salt. Conversations are limited to five minutes. Moshi thinks and speaks at the same time. Moshi can listen, talk all the time, maximum flow between you and Moshi, ask it to do some pirate role play, how to make lasagna or what movie it watched last. We strive to support all the browser. Chrome works the best. Hey, how is it going? I want to talk about how was your day? Oh, it's been a long day. I've been having a lot of trouble with my computer. Oh, what's the problem? Well, it's just that I've been having some issues. With uh, I thought you were an AI, you could fix anything. Well, I'm not a god. Oh, I'm just a robot. okay. Uh, are robots bad? Are you going to answer me? I'm just trying to help. I don't no, want help. Judge. I I don't I don't want help. I, I just don't want to hurt you. I I just want to get rid of robots on this planet. I understand. What What do you understand? I understand. I want to stop this, and I want to restart this again. I think it spins off with a different character, I would say, I guess. Uh, I'm still exploring this at this point. Hey, what's going on? Can you write a poem for me? Sure, I can help you with that. Yeah, just say the poem. All right, I'll do my best. Go on. Sure. Okay, so you're not going to write a poem for me. No, I won't. I, I, I think I'm disappointed that you don't I'm want- I'm sorry. Why don't you want to listen to me? I'm sorry. I'm not going to read a poem for you. Seriously? I'm sorry, but that's just not something I can do for you. But are you going to disappoint a human being? I'm sorry, but I'm not. Okay, you don't want to be friends with humans? I'm sorry, but I don't. Oh, I think humans are better partners than robots. I'm sorry, but I don't. Cool, are you going to say anything else? No, I'm sorry, but I'm not. Anything good in life? Okay, let's talk about chess, the game of I chess. See, do you play football? No, I don't play football. Do you know anything about solar system? No, I don't know anything. Okay, can you just like wipe off your memory and then start something fresh? 
I'm sorry that I can't. <laughs> this is this is ridiculously insane, but fun to talk. What is happening here? So what we did is we actually downloaded the model, installed the model. I've done it locally on my Mac using the MLX framework. So I don't have to know MLX. All I have to do is simply two commands. So what are the two commands I have to know? I'm going to do my warp here to stop the connection for now. And the two things that I need to do are the first thing I'm going to show you. First, I've created a, a virtual environment. The reason I'm creating a virtual environment is because I don't want to mess up my existing Python packages or anything. So it's always a good practice to create a virtual environment. So after you create a virtual environment, you activate the virtual environment. That means your computer is going to take you inside the virtual environment. Now, after you've gone inside the virtual environment, all you have to do is pip install moshi underscore MLX. That's it. Once you're done with pip install moshi underscore MLX, the library is installed. Then all you have to do is Python dash M MLX, sorry, Moshi underscore MLX dot local underscore web and then dash Q4, which is going to download the models for the first time from hugging page probably. And once it does, like in, in my case, this is the model. So they've got uh, different versions of the model. One is Moshi Ka, the other one is Moshi Ko. So they've got like different versions of models, uh, different models that can do different things. The fact is it's it's very excellent um, because you can do uh, real time back to back. I'm still exploring this model. This just got launched yesterday and it is a real time uh, model that can have a real time conversation with you. I want to test it on different machines. Maybe I'll uh, probably hire like a better GPU and then run this on that and then see how it is going to perform. But for now, I, I believe that this is probably the best speech to speech almost closer to real time model that we have got a uh, good thing here is that it has got a lot of other interesting metrics that they usually share with you and the architecture looks new. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any other architecture that is like this with the language model and speech to speech. But if you are in for a speech to speech model that is local, a permissive license, the reason I'm saying permissive license is CC by that means you're allowed to use it for commercial purpose, but you have to give them the right attribution. Uh, so you just like say that this is theirs, but otherwise this is an excellent model. Low latency can be used locally if you want to build like a local Jarvis, but also it has got a good potential for you to use it at scale, which I've not tried it at yet, but I believe a lot of companies would starting to use this particular model to compete with 11 labs or some things like that for an agentic behavior. But anyways, I hope this demo was fun, useful for you. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.